Close your eyes, take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Let your attention settle there. Make this your foundation, your base for going through the day, not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but whatever you do. Try to have a sense of being firmly established right here. As the Buddha said, mindfulness is your protection. And for it to protect you, it needs to be well-based. They're the prerequisites for solid mindfulness, and those are purified virtue and views made straight. In other words, you follow the precepts, and in that way you would look at your behavior in the course of the day and you realize you're not harming anybody at all. You're not harming yourself, you're not harming others. So there's no need to put up barriers in the mind. We put up barriers when we realize we've done something wrong and we don't want to think about it. And so we put up a wall. When we have walls in the mind like this, and it's hard for mindfulness to be able to remember. It keeps running into the walls, forgetting. As your view is made straight, they remind you that the most important things you should be paying attention to right now are your actions. The world wants you to pay attention to anything but what you're doing right now. TV wasn't enough. Now we have the Internet. People carry it around, and it sucks their brains out. In other words, your attention goes out to things outside, what other people are doing someplace else, what they have done in the past, what they're talking about doing in the future, almost anything but what are you doing right now. Whereas if your views are made straight, you remind yourself, okay, this is the important thing that's shaping your life, your decisions right now. So you want to make them good decisions. That reminds you of why you want to be mindful. Because mindfulness is what recognizes skillful and unskillful intentions in the mind. And reminds you, with unskillful intentions, this is how you get rid of them. With skillful intentions, this is how you develop them. So when you have that set of prerequisites, purified virtue and views made straight, then you settle down here in the present moment with a sense of belonging here. And there are no walls in the mind. And your attention is directed to where it should be directed, it's to what you're doing right now. That adds mindfulness and alertness, and you try to do what you're doing as well as you can. That means ardency. Those are the three qualities you need to be fully protected, for your mindfulness to be firmly established and so it doesn't get knocked over. The problem is it gets knocked over and the mind has a tendency to build new worlds all the time. It gets knocked out of its world of being in, mind, in concentration, knocked into some other world. So stay in this world. This is the world where the Dharma is. This is the world where the Buddha is. And he's teaching you, out of his compassion, this is how you put an end to suffering. By being very careful about what you do and say and think. The end of suffering doesn't depend on the conditions in the world being a certain way. It depends on your actions, and those can be under your control. And if they're under the control of mindfulness, okay, even better, because sometimes if they're under your control, they're under the control of your greed, aversion, and delusion. You don't want that. You want a mind that's under the control of mindfulness, discernment, all the good factors of the path. And that way you keep yourself safe. So try to establish your mindfulness and keep it established right here at the breath as you go through the day. That way you come to see things that you didn't see before going on in the mind. And that gives you the power to do something about them. So your thoughts, words, and deeds really do lead to happiness. Which is why we think and speak and act anyhow. We want to happiness, but the problem is all too often our actions lead to suffering. You want to see that. You want to understand why. Well, this is how you understand why. By staying firmly established right here.